Hey, so we get some really good, good rain and really good hail, especially at the end of the video. The hail is incredible. It's nonstop. It's the last couple minutes and very heavy rain, but the whole drive is beautiful. Hope you guys enjoy it. Take care and peace out. What is up, everybody? It's September 30th, 2023. We're getting some good rain right now in Big Bear, California. And if this storm lags at all, we could see our first snow flurry in September tonight. So keep your fingers crossed that that happens. I hope it does. Probably won't, but there is a chance. There is a chance. Of course, I'll be out there recording if it's snowing. Um, but yeah, welcome to, I guess this would be the beginning of season nine of Big Bear Weather and More. And every season is a year long, not just a quarterly season. So this is our ninth year doing these videos. I can't believe it. Never missed a storm yet. And get ready for the merchandise, you guys. The merchandise store is coming. The website's coming. On our first decent snowstorm, if it's if we get a snow flurry tonight, it's, we're not going to launch it tonight. But on the next snow, we will for sure. And uh, I'm excited. I think you guys are going to be stoked. So cool. Let's do this. So right now, we're just going to take a little detour down by the lake. We're going to turn into where the Pines restaurant is. This would be nice if... There's a, a turn signal. Wow, it's really coming down good here. We're getting hail, it's hailing. We got thunderstorms in the area. Look at that, it's hailing you guys. What in the hail is going on here? Wow. Awesome, awesome. It's 46 degrees. And by the way, this icy precipitation has nothing to do with winter weather. This is because of a thunderstorm. Literally nothing to do with snow or, or sleet. This is due to heavy updrafts. But yeah, this is pretty awesome. Pretty darn awesome, you guys. You can hear it bang, bang, banking. Look at that, look at that. Just awesome. Thought we would just take a little detour real quick. So let me turn around and head back. But yeah, we're gonna go through the village and go down through a little bit of Boulder Bay area of town and then get this video uploaded for y'all. So hang on a moment, let me, let me make a Yui here and turn around. But yeah, we got some hail right on. saw a buddy of mine so I thought I would turn off the camera and say hello hello he's their main maintenance guy his name is Steve you guys met him on the 4th of July video just the sweetest guy so here is the Pines restaurant it's a fine dining establishment then here is the Pines Tavern another restaurant slash bar right on the lake this place has such a phenomenal location. I really suggest you guys come check this place out. It doesn't get any better in terms of location. So yeah, so that building right there, that's the Pines Lakefront. And then as I said, the one across the way, directly on the lake, is the, is the Pines Tavern. Just awesome. And I'm glad we caught that hail when we did because it's done hailing. It is done hailing. But yeah, temperature's still 46 degrees in beautiful Big Bear Lake, California. We're gonna hang a right here on Big Bear Boulevard and then we're gonna go through the village. And uh, yeah, guys, we're getting that much closer to our season of winter, to our snow season. <laughs> That's a buddy of mine, Eric. Poor dude's homeless. I always wish him well. He calls me Grandpa, and I call him, Later, Grandpa! For some reason, he calls me Grandpa, which is just the weirdest thing, but I call him Grandpa in return, so. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Look at how beautiful these clouds look.
we are so lucky to live here. And again, I hope we do get those snow flurries tonight because uh, it would be the earliest snowfall I've seen since I've lived here. The whole entire time. Go, go. The whole nine years now almost. Eight and a half years. But yeah, guys. Get ready for this winter. I'm very, very hopeful. I've learned that even if we get a good start to the winter, it doesn't mean anything. A lot of people think that it does. Like if we get some good snow early in the season, then it's gonna be a predictor for the future. And it's never that way from my experience. And I have it all on video. So I can say that with a lot of surety. All right, let's shut off this bunch of the wiper for a moment. But yeah. One of the hotels that I love the most up here, the Robin Hood Resort. I suggest you guys give that place a chance. I have, I, I don't know if I have more than one room on video there, but I have one of their biggest rooms. It's a two story room with a jacuzzi and uh, it starts on the second floor of the building across the street here. And so you have a staircase to a loft up top and it's, it's wonderful. But this place is absolutely great. They have great food. I think the restaurant's called Nottingham's. It really is a wonderful place. so much this is so fantastic we will take it not that we have a choice but we will take it temperatures still hovering around the 46 degree range and again this isn't supposed to last too much time this system's supposed to be out of here in the next couple hours. But on part of this mountain range, it's supposed to hit pretty hard. There's a flood advisory that does not have Big Bear in its path, unfortunately. A lot of the storm is gonna burn out before it gets all the way to us. Because we're on the back side of the mountain range, so we usually don't get the brunt of the storms, unfortunately. What are you guys doing? Jeez Louise. Only thing I don't like about this time of year as we get closer is um, it's a lot of bad driving that goes on up here and I am not innocent of that. I do a lot of bad driving myself, but it just gets a little frustrating. Turn on the, uh, the defroster, 45 degrees. Just epic, man, just epic. But yeah, the flood advisory, uh, Lake Arrowhead is in the flood advisory, Running Springs, Crestline, San Bernardino, Rialto, but not this side of the mountain range. We're getting the leftovers. And again, we always do. If Big Bear was situated where Crestline is, or let's say if Crestline was the same elevation as Big Bear, They'd probably get double the amount of snow that we get each year, at least. Because the storms come through that area first. And then the mountain range just eats up and spits out these storms. So that's it. We're going to take a little drive on Big Bear Boulevard. Probably turn down Edgemore and come down Lakeview. I've been liking that route lately. Oh, I've been liking it. I am feeling a little bit better, still nowhere near 100%. It's been pretty miserable even right now, but a good friend on the channel, he goes by Jason Pacific. Uh, he's, he's been super helpful and uh, knows his stuff. And I've been heeding his advice with some things to ingest. 
like instead of regular omega threes for my Crohn's disease and my inflammation to take krill oil. It's a special type of omega. So I've been taking that and then he suggested because I have no energy, this stuff called maca, M-A-C-A, -A, and he swears by it. And uh, because I feel like the krill oil is helping, I'm gonna try that as well. Because guys, I have zero energy. Like I've, I am just empty, always. And I don't like being empty on energy. All right, up here on the left, we're coming up to my favorite Mexican restaurant in Big Bear. It's called Azteca Grill. Let's roll down the window to get a good view. love that place especially taco Tuesday because you get there like five dollar tacos for a dollar my wife and I will order I think you can do ten per order on taco Tuesday if you really wanted more if you have a bunch of people just you probably have a couple people calling the order and get a few different orders of ten but they are really really good we're turning right on Edgemore now. Edgemore takes you down to some houses on the lake and to one of the big time marinas in our little town. I think it's called Holloway's Marina. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure that's the one up here. We will be passing it, so I'll be able to get the name for you guys. It just feels like winter outside. That's giving me a little bit of energy. Just the thought of winter. That's my wifey. Hey babe, I'm recording right now. I wish you were with me. I'll contact you when I get home. Earlier today, I did a video at the Big Bear Solar Observatory. It's closed right now, but a friend of mine is a scientist there and one of the observers, and he gave me a private tour with another one of his friends. Um, just the nicest guy. He's from France. His name is Nick, and I, I just love him to death. Such, such a cool dude. So it's about an hour and a half long. It's a super in-depth video. And we just passed that marina, and I completely forgot to talk about it. I'm 99% sure it's Holloway's Marina. And now we're turning right on Lakeview. If you go left, you just have more homes on the lake and it's not a through street. to get this video uploaded. Again, it's good to see you guys. Hope you're all doing great. Um, yeah, keep your fingers crossed. We have a good season. I hope we do. It's gonna be fun driving out there in the snow again soon. So hopefully we can drive out in the snow sooner than later. But yeah, it's good to see you guys. So that turn we just made, we're still on Lakeview. And this is gonna take us all the way to Big Bear Boulevard.
all these houses are right on the lake. Here's a big empty property. Wouldn't it be nice to, to buy that parcel of land right there? My gosh, that's been empty the whole time I've lived here. It must be outrageous for the price, but some people have that kind of money, outrageous money. I'm surprised no one's picked it up yet. We're back at the boulevard. At the boulevard of broken dreams. We got a lot of traffic here, so hopefully we can maneuver safely. Oh, there's a lot of people up here. I was wondering why there were so many people up here, but someone told me it's because of Oktoberfest. I don't like that's what that's the reason there's a lot of people up here because that means there's gonna be a lot of drinking and driving so if you guys come up to visit try to stay off the roads as much as you can and avoid the drunk drivers I don't want anything to happen to you guys this is ridiculous this is just like winter I think I see my opportunity coming. If I can go after this guy right here. Oh yeah, we pulled it off like a champ. Now it's hailing again. Did you guys see that? A little burst of hail? Okay, so since we went through the village, we're gonna take this route. Hopefully we don't hit much traffic. We should be going through the village again to avoid this route, but we already went through the village on this video. Definitely hailing again. I haven't heard any rumbles of thunder yet. I haven't seen any lightning. Temperature is 44 degrees. As I said, yep, it's definitely hailing. I don't know if you guys can see them, the hail pellets bouncing off the hood. And over here to the left, this is another hotel that my wife and I really enjoyed. We stayed there for about three weeks because we got such a good deal last winter time. And uh, that's called the Marina Riviera Resort. It's right on the lake. The view was just incredible. We had a wonderful time there. I don't know what prices are now, but it wasn't too bad. During the week, it was like regular price, I think was 140 bucks a night, or don't quote me on it, but I have all the information on the video I did 
of the Marina Riviera on my playlist. I have a lodging playlist showing you all the places I've stayed in Big Bear. Wow, it's coming down really good. So awesome. Can't wait to get back. So now we're getting a mixture of heavy rain and hail. It's really heavy right now. I really hope you guys can see it. still bouncing. We're going to take the back road to Moon Ridge. So we're going to turn right here on Summit Boulevard next to 7-Eleven and then make your first left on Brownie Lane. Snow Summit is straight ahead. This is a long period of hail. I am excited. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. It's September 30th, 2023. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share, comment. I appreciate it. Love you guys. And we will talk to you all later. Peace out.